Welcome to 9 Amazing Things We Know About Starfield So Far Part 2. Like and follow for more Starfield content. Now, let's begin. Starfield traits have both positive and negative effects. For example, the fast learner trait gives you a bonus to experience gain, but it also makes you more susceptible to disease. You'll need to carefully weigh the pros and cons of each trait before you choose it as you don't want to end up with a character that is too weak or too vulnerable. Starfield traits can also represent your character's history before the game started, your upbringing, your religious background, maybe even experiments you were subjected to. They'll also offer trait, specific dialogue choices. Starfield companions can join you when you adventure through the galaxy. Companions will give you backup and a range of buffs depending on who you chose to take with you. You can also let companions do certain tasks for you, but you need to then deal with the consequences of this. For example, if you tell your companion to persuade someone, they might fail, and you'll have to deal with the consequences. It's important to choose your companions wisely, as they can make a big difference in your playthrough. Starfield will have survival elements, but they won't be too tedious. You won't need to carry out endless resource gathering or spend ages traveling between planets. However, you will need to be mindful of your food and water supplies, and you might need to wear protective gear if you're exploring hazardous environments. This will add an extra layer of challenge to the game, and it will make you think more carefully about your actions. You can rank up your skills in Starfield. Each skill has a unique upgrade path that lets you increase its effectiveness. To level up one of Starfield's skills to the next rank, players will need to complete a specific in-game challenge. For example, the gun skill will let you do more damage with ranged weapons, and the hacking skill will let you hack into computer systems. This will give you a lot of freedom to customize your character and to play the game in the way that you want. Bethesda has released a stylish wireless controller and headset combo for Starfield. The controller has transparent triggers and side grips, while the headset has large ear cups and an adjustable headband. The controller is also compatible with other Xbox games, so you can use it for all your gaming needs. This is a great way to get ready for Starfield, and it will make your experience even more immersive. You can board and steal ships in Starfield. You'll need to battle your way through the crew to get to the pilot, but it's a great way to get a new ship. You can also use stolen ships to commit crimes, or to transport goods and contraband. This is a risky but rewarding activity, and it can be a lot of fun to try to pull off a successful heist. You can snitch on bad guys in Starfield. You can join multiple factions, and even report back to your superiors, which is a great option for anybody looking to roleplay a space cop or bounty hunter. You can also use this information to blackmail people or to gain an advantage in negotiations. This is a great way to get ahead in the game, and it can be a lot of fun to play the role of a double agent. It is currently unknown if you can respect traits in Starfield. However, it is very likely that you will be able to do so at a later point in the game, which has been the case in Bethesda's other games. This would be a great feature for players who want to experiment with different builds or who make a mistake when choosing their traits. It would also be a great way to adapt your character to the challenges of the game as you progress. You can start Starfield with a starter home and a 50,000 credit mortgage. This is a great way to get a head start in the game, but you'll need to make sure you can afford the monthly payments. You can also use your home to store items and to craft weapons and armor. This is a great way to personalize your experience, and it will give you a place to call home in the vastness of space. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button if you found it helpful. Your support really means a lot to me, and it helps me create more valuable content like this in the future.